Hello aspiring millionaires, by the end of this video, you'll know more about Bitcoin and how it works than 99% of the population. Sounds great, right? Let's get started. While today might be a great day for you, there was another significant day in Bitcoin history. On May 22, 2010, a programmer named Laszlo, living in Florida, heard a knock at his door. A delivery guy stood there with two hot pizzas. Laszlo opened the door and took the pizzas, marking the first ever transaction paid with cryptocurrency. Those pizzas, delivered by Papa John's, cost Laszlo 10,000 bitcoins, 5,000 for each pizza. Back then, that meal cost him about $30. Today, those 10,000 bitcoins are worth $60 million, enough to buy a lifetime supply of pizza for him and his entire network of friends and family. So how does Bitcoin work? What backs it up and why is it growing so quickly? Let's find out. To understand Bitcoin, you need to know a bit about money. Historically, people realized carrying bags of coins or gold bars was inconvenient, so paper money was invented. Here's how it worked. A bank or the government would store your gold and, in exchange, issue you certificates banknotes, for the same value. These paper notes were much lighter to carry and allowed you to spend money more easily. If you wanted your gold back, you simply returned the banknotes to the bank. Over time, however, the direct link between paper money and gold was broken. Governments then promised that the value of paper money was backed by them, not gold. This system worked because of trust, and thus fiat currency was born. Fiat money derives its value from government decree and its legal status granted by a central authority. Fiat currency has two main drawbacks. It's centralized, and its supply is unlimited. Governments or central banks can print as much money as they want which can lead to inflation and devalue the currency. Digital money was the next step, making it easy to track and manage. However, this also gave government significant control over the money supply, which can lead to corruption, mismanagement, and control issues. For instance, in countries like Zimbabwe and Venezuela, excessive money printing led to extreme inflation. In 2008, an alternative emerged. A person or group known as Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper proposing a decentralized currency system called Bitcoin. Unlike banks, Bitcoin's ledger is transparent and decentralized, meaning anyone can view it, but no single entity controls it. This ledger, known as the blockchain, is stored on thousands of computers worldwide, making it nearly impossible to tamper with. Bitcoin has a finite supply of 21 million coins. This scarcity is built into its protocol and is meant to mimic the limited supply of precious metals like gold. Bitcoins are created through a process called mining, where powerful computers solve complex mathematical problems to validate transactions and add them to the blockchain. Miners are rewarded with newly created Bitcoins and transaction fees. Bitcoin transactions are pseudonymous. While all transactions are publicly visible on the blockchain, the identities of the individuals involved are not directly tied to their Bitcoin addresses. Digital and divisible. Bitcoin is entirely digital and can be sent and received electronically. It is also divisible into smaller units called Satoshis, with one Bitcoin equal to 100 million Satoshis. Bitcoin security is maintained through cryptographic techniques. Each transaction is secured by a cryptographic algorithm, and the blockchain is resistant to tampering due to its decentralized nature and the computational power required to alter it. Bitcoin's price can be highly volatile, influenced by factors such as market demand, regulatory news, and technological developments. Use Cases Bitcoin can be used for various purposes, including online purchases, investment, remittances, and as a store of value. Some view it as digital gold due to its scarcity and potential to hedge against inflation. Global acceptance. While Bitcoin is accepted by many online and offline merchants, 
its legal status varies by country. Some countries have embraced it, while others have imposed restrictions or outright bans. Bitcoin offers several advantages over traditional money. It provides full control over your funds, eliminating the need for intermediaries and reducing transaction costs. The underlying technology, blockchain, is a distributed ledger that ensures transparency and security. Changes to the blockchain are extremely difficult, ensuring the integrity of transactions. And there you have it. Bitcoin represents a revolutionary shift in how money can be managed and transferred, offering a decentralized alternative to traditional financial systems. This money revolution started in 2009, continues to transform our financial landscape today and into the future. Subscribe to this channel for more financially beneficial videos. Make sure to check out our latest video, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is your source for everything crypto. Let's build a community here together. See you in the next video.